none of these people are real people. None of the people in this video ever said anything said in this video. This video uses artificial intelligence to merely mimic their voices. Every appearance made by a real public figure is actually just a fictional persona based off of them. Not a single one of the actual people in this video has ever endorsed any part of this video. This video uh, makes no claims to speak on their behalf, nor does it push a political agenda. This video um, should be thought of as a completely fictional and satirical parody made for purely entertainment purposes. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. Uh, hey, what's up all my wriggling and writhing Bohemian Grove vacationers? Welcome to the part of Pokemon Clover where Joey with a capital J gets to wreck some children. Pauses to lick lips. Ah, yes. Wait. Didn't you say that I get to play until I beat Tumblerita? I do not recollect that memory. I like how you just shrugged off that weird shit Joey started with. But yeah, I think uh, I recall you saying something like that, Joey. Did I? I don't know. My memory's pretty good, at least some of the time. Well, can I play then? Sorry, Donnie, but I want to play this time. It is my session, after all. And I thought you didn't like Pokemon, though. Um, I, I, I don't. I don't like Pokemon, or video games, for that matter. That's this Cap. Is just for the country. Plus, it's better than just sitting here jerking myself off. Uh, what? You don't have to be alone, Donnie. Wait, what part of what he said are you saying that Look about? Look at this. I'm facing an actual fucking noob. Yes, you are facing an actual fucking noob. This guy's name should be Barry. What? And whatever. And it's not like I really wanted to play this game and face that stupid woman gym leader anyway. You are just simply the worst liar I have ever fucking heard. What? Excuse me? You yourself have discredited your claim of not playing Pokemon or video games at all so many times now. You've even dropped shit that I have no clue about. No, I haven't. Like, what the fuck is a Berserk or a Kaiji? I just stopped pointing all these moments out. So if you're gonna be like that, then I'm just gonna ask for you. Wait, ask what? Joey. Can Donnie take over for this next gym leader? No, I told you, I don't oh, care. Oh yeah, that's fine. Ah, you really mean it? Christ. Yeah, man, I just like playing my part and like playing video games with my besties. Especially during times like these, if it means a lot to you, then of course you can take the second gym. You just gotta promise me that I get the third one though. Oh, Joey Chan. What? You, ahem, I mean. You didn't even clear your throat there. You're just trying to distract me from the fact that you just tried to poison a steel type just like Barry did before. Still on about that one? I will, however, accept your invitation to face this next gym leader, and Donnie T is nothing if not a man of his word at all times. You can have the third gym battle, and let it be known that I couldn't care less about this gym battle, and I have never touched a video game before playing this one. I'm a little confused here. Uh-huh. But I think you want this gym battle because you think it's gonna be easy. What? That's not why at all. No, that's definitely the case. Okay, Joey, how out of the loop are you right now? And your shoes are looking cool. What the heck? Uh, you're, you're so out of touch. It's a SpongeBob thing. Keep up with the youth, old man. Yeah, you fossil! What? You look like oil! Yo, what? What the fuck are you two actually ancient and racist bastards talking about? You two are both way older than me. But yeah, I know that Donnie wants this fight because he knows it's gonna be easy. Why would I think that? What's the highest level Pokemon that Misty has in the base game? Like 22 or something? Our Pokemon are pretty overleveled right now. And even if we don't have something that counters water typing, I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to just brute force our way through this, unless she has something truly astounding hidden up her sleeve. Donnie, what the fuck was that oil comment? Oh, you're just so sleek and dark and rich, that's oh, all. Oh my word, is that, is that a gross, deformed, and isolated child? Um, what? Yo, gross, it's talking about that Did disgusting, just sleepy Joey Pokemon. Oh God, I knew it was too good to be true. I was tricked again. It's not a child. It's a man. Ah! Oh wait, he's a midget. Hmm. Joey, what the hell was that? Hmm. <laughs> What? Oh, sorry, I was just lost in thought. Oh, great. Was now, hot. there are say? Pokemon based off of both types of aliens. I know you're not in Fochun legally. I don't know what type this is, but it looks like a potato, and potatoes are from the ground, so I'm gonna go with Mega Drain. Huh, that was actually some sound logic, Joey. Let me retrace our conversation a bit here. Joey, why did you say Donnie wants this next gym? Did you say he knows it's gonna be easy? That's not why, Joey. I don't remember having dementia. What? But I do remember that conversation. Yeah, Donnie knows he's gonna absolutely plow this gym like it's a peach on a hydraulic press. Since he's not experienced in Pokemon, like he said earlier, that must be the reason why. Joey, what kind of simile is that? Are you trying to get me to act up? Act up? Like get angry? You won't need to use your rage boost power for this gym, I can assure you. No, Joey, Donnie is a damn liar. He definitely plays and dare I say is even good at Pokemon. He doesn't care about the difficulty of this gym. 
Hold on, Barry. New midget lore just dropped. Excuse me? Yeah, shut the hell up, you basketball. Fuck yourself. This guy has a unique theme, and his name is Even Sleepy. I think we should rename Joey. In my next life, I'll rename myself to Sleepy for sure. Hold up. Even more midget lore. There are only seven midgets in all of Fochun. That's completely specific, but I'm glad there are only seven of them. What? Why are you glad? We don't need their numbers in the double digits. Wow. Agreed. What were you saying about the next Jim Barry? Oh, yeah. He just wants to face this woman who he, for some reason, has an obsession over, even though he hasn't even met her in game. He must feel it's some sort of sick level of personal if he's the one to face her. All fake news, Barry. Everything you say is fake. But what isn't fake is this guy talking like a fucking idiot. Leave this dumbass, Joey. Yeah, this guy is bad news. He's impersonating my precious Evie, and that simply won't do. Even though he gives us that boat ticket, I think we'll just have to find another way. Really? You guys would just leave this guy trapped forever? Yeah. Yep. Unbelievable. Oi, oi, mind, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Well, are we actually have to save this guy? Oh, boo-hoo. But what a strange parallel to what we should be doing in real life right now. Damn, you're still on about that? Bro, are you kidding me? Still on about that? We are literally living that as we speak. All right, let's talk to this fuck so we can get our ticket and leave. This guy is normal? I think I recall someone in the town talking about him in a normal berry or something. His little brother's missing. Could that be our rival? I don't think they're connected. Wait, what the fuck? We came all the way up this chilly hell's damned mountain just for a fucking berry? Why the fuck is this piece of shit even in the game? I feel so fucking cheated. Calm down, Gramps. It's just a game. But yeah, I don't... I don't know what the point of this was. For Bill, he was essential to the story because you can't get on the SS Anne without the ticket he gives you. But this guy just gave us a basic item. Is this guy just a reference to a developer or something? Do we even need a ticket? Is there even a boat? Okay, first off, don't fucking call me Gramps because I could absolutely body you, no diff. Second, stop asking so many questions. Ooh, the topper wants to learn the move trigger. That sounds like an interesting move. It gets stronger the more it's used, and it has 100 accuracy. Yeah, that sounds like a solid move, considering Last Lee's high defensive stats. The only bad part is the speed. We might last a few hits, but if we were fast, we'd never have to get hit in the first place if we got a chain of triggers going. Wow, what an in-depth analysis from someone who claims to never have played Pokemon before. STFU, that's just common sense, you damn... Wait, hold on! Did you just teach Pikman self-destruct? Uh, yeah, I mean 200 base power. Wow, that might come in handy. Fuck you. All right, it's just about gym battle time. But first, let me see if we have any TMs that would be a good idea to teach to our Pokemons. Mm, not many. Although, I do like the idea of stealing, and considering how many items and berries the trainers in this game seem to have, this might not be a bad idea. Taxation is theft. Well, good thing we aren't taxing because we're just taking without permission. Yeah, let's teach this towelhead Hussein how to what? steal some shit. And taxes are taking without permission. Well, shit. I guess we're teaching Hussein how to collect taxes. Shit, we should annex Fochon into being a part of the United States. Taxes are theft. Yeah, taxes are theft. Damn, Joey, you're actually really smart today, up top. Oh, yippee. What kind of fucking conversation is this? You two are literally presidents. You two dumbasses are the ones collecting taxes. Who? You and Joey, you both asked. Oh shit, Joey, you're on the ball today. Give me five again. <sighs> What's wrong with you two? Why is it I feel like you two have both just been fucking with me since we started playing this session of Clover? Barry, as I've said before, it's called winning friends. You should not be such a square and try it sometime. And hold on, does that say Bullet Seed is 25 base power? <laughs> what the hell? Flash has 20 power since when? The topper can learn Flash. Uh-oh. Oh. Joey, oh. why are you shaking? Oh. oh my god. Joey, please stop. Uh oh oh. Uh oh What the hell? Man, that's too much. Oh. Okay, well, let's forget about that winning friends bit, if it's going to be associated with that. Call me a leaky faucet because I just burst. Joey, shut up. Shut the fuck up. All right, Joey. I hate you now. How the fuck am I supposed to focus on Tumblrita with that evil thought in the back of my mind? All right, my sworn enemy, so be it. I believe you'll fare well during this gym, and I know you know this gym is going to be easy. As for that thought, hey, hey, Pause. just consider that a bonus. I'll be living rent-free inside you forever. Shut the fuck up before I rip you limb from limb, you piece of shit. What kind of fucking roller coaster is going on here? Earlier, Joey said something about us all being besties, but now you two are sworn enemies? 
You two were high-fiving about some stupid tax bullshit like two minutes ago. Shut up, man. Yeah, shut the hell up. Well, fuck me, I guess. You wish. Whatever. You don't understand Donnie and I's relationship. It's deep, real deep. So deep, words could never describe how deep and convoluted it is. Also, I'm gonna fight this other side trainer, but before I do, I'm actually gonna put that quick claw on the topper to try and fix my sweet little guy's speed issue. You know, for a fucking idiot, that's a pretty great plan. Oh wait. It's because I was the one who pointed out the problem in the first place. Oh, yeah? Well, this little girl is telling us that Tumblerita will kill all the rapists. And I hope she starts with you. Holy fucking shit. What is wrong with this game? What if... No, she'll definitely kill you if anyone, you piece of shit. Oh, yeah? Well, she'll definitely kill me last, if anything. Not first, you a uh, bitch. Jesus Christ. The girl who was talking about killing rapists? Looks like she's like 10 years old. Wait, Joey, why would she kill you at all? Well, um, well, you see, I, uh... You do nasty shit because you're a nasty person. That's why you're my sworn enemy who I will never forgive. Die, you rapist scum. No, that's not true, arch nemesis Donnie. It's our character. She'll kill me because of our character. Our character's canon name is Viol, which directly translates to rape in French. We are rape. That's why she'll kill us. You disgusting. I can't believe our character's canon name is- Rape? Yeah, that's a bit too far, even for this game. And look, this- French. I think I'm gonna fucking be sick. What the fuck? Being named Rape is okay with you? And this girl is accusing us of raping her Pokemon. A uh, rapist like you should be burning in hell? What the fuck? That's just a little girl saying that. Like I've said before, you've got to start them when they're young and little girl or not. If she consents to- a... Joey, shut the fuck up and die and let me play. Fine, my eternal enemy. You shall battle this gym as stated by my former oath. All right. First off, I'm going to start with Hussein in the front because I recall that disgusting freak below us having a water psychic type Pokemon. And I think there's- Oh, plus, oh, sir. Oh, 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 my fucking God. Ah, uh, the, holy fucking shit. She's, uh, 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 my chest. Uh, I'm really having a heart attack. Uh, she is so fucking hot and sexy. The short hair, the red streak, the freckles. And of course, those massive melons in that sling bikini. I, I, ooh, no, I, ah, more. Donnie, just breathe. Deep breaths now. <sighs> oh my God. Donnie, Donnie, are you okay? No way he actually just had a heart attack after seeing Donnie, her. Donnie, wake up, please. Donnie, this isn't funny. Wait, 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 wait. He's not breathing. He, he's, <gasps> Donnie. Joey, you're my best friend ever, man. Thank you so much for letting me face her. Jesus Christ. And he immediately just starts playing Pokemon as if he didn't legally die for several seconds there. I saw so much while I was dead, believe me. I've probably seen the most out of everyone who has died. And let me tell you, I don't remember what happened. How long was I dead? Seconds, you say? I felt like I was gone forever. And holy fuck, did you see her? She is wearing fucking cargo shorts. Holy shit, she is such a tomboy. Well, great job making our fire type actually useful in the water type gym, Donnie. You were right. Nothing new there. My oh man, how can you get upset at me for being attracted to boys when you yourself just literally fell for one? Why the fuck did she just send out this dumbass bird? Probably because it has a 100% female ratio and this gym hates men. Now answer the question. This thing is also a ground type, by the way. Joey, a tomboy, is a term that refers to a girl who is somewhat masculine in either her appearance, mannerisms, or both. Oh, so you're saying Donnie is down with the dykes? What? Joey, don't fucking what? say that. No, <laughs> That's not, not at what all. I said at all. What kind of fucking thing are you accusing me of? Whoa, hey, let old Joey defend himself. I just got confused. <laughs> A likely excuse, genuinely. All right, but that was strike one out of one that I needed to remove you, you from my bestie now? list that I added you to once I came back to life. We're not eternal enemies, but you are now mid. Mid? No, no! Yep. Sorry, you're mid at best. The bottom of the barrel, that reminds me. Jesus fucking Christ, is that Rosie O'Donnell? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, that SJW whale really is Rosie O'Donnell. Ha <laughs> ha, you're so funny. All right, Joey, while everything you said there is completely true, that's strike two for the meat riding. Wait, what? 
No. Mid doesn't mean bottom of the barrel, Donnie. It literally means in the middle. Average and holy shit, that super effective move did barely any damage at all. This thing has a ton of health. And it somehow outspeeds us when it is a literal whale. Well, it also has legs, unlike our guy. Also, what typing is this? It has to be water, ghost, or psychic, right? Tumblerita, my darling. Why darling. didn't you just use a normal ass potion? You weren't even low, and my bet would be ghost. There's no way this whale of a creature should be alive otherwise. I think this is probably what that weird fishnism Pokemon evolves into, making this a psychic type. Bro, are you dumb? This is blue while fishnism is pink. Plus, fishnism is a fish while SJW whale here is a mammal. Yeah, it's also Pokemon, you fucking asshole. I'm just applying game logic to figure out its typing. That reminds me. Comment question. What type of Pokemon is nope. your... Nope, nope, nope. Nope, absolutely not. Not this time. Absolutely fucking not. Whoa, what's your deal, dickhead? I'm the victim here. Me! I've been trying to ask my comment question for who knows how many sessions of Clover now. And you guys have walked all over me every time, but not this time. This time it's far too relevant and extremely important. I will not be silenced. Holy shit, man, you don't have to be so dramatic. If it was so important and you really wanted to ask it, then just speak up next time. Fuck you. Am I allowed to ask it? Why the hell are you asking for permission? Quit being an ass. I don't know if I have freedom of speech. Come on, Donnie. We're sorry for interrupting you. Please say your comment question. All right. This is a big one. Probably the biggest and most important comment question. A hugely important and historically honored question that's clawed at the minds of those who have dared to think of it. Just for... fucking get to it. Jesus, this is why we don't let you talk. I was giving it the prelude it deserves, but since you're being a bitch and ruined it, I'll just ask it. Who is the baddest bitch in all of Pokemon? Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, are you serious? No, I'm serious. You have to say just one as hard as that may be. Fuck, man. I wasn't ready for a question like that right now. That's a huge question. Seriously? Are we going to do this? That's such a degenerate thing to ask. What kind of adult other than you two weirdos would think of that? And you could at least phrase it in a better way. Not to mention most of the women in Pokemon are fucking underage. <laughs> That's sick. Whoa. Um, I, I mean... I, fucking hell. Just ignore the brain rotted parts of her and she is perfect. Donnie? You can do this, brother man. Wait, is she seriously skimping out on the badge? Oh, good heavens. She has that post-workout glow. I'm actually surprised she's your type, Donnie. I thought your type was exclusively supermodel. What do you mean? She is a supermodel. And look, she has a soft side. She's just been hurt. I can heal her. Donnie, you are being disgustingly cringe and blue beta cuck-pilled to a fictional woman. Oh, fuck you, Barry. Stop trying to say you can't relate. I know for a fact you can. Nope, not at all. And ask your question again, but in a more positive and generally appealing way. All right, Joey, go ahead and play for the rest of this session. I need to focus. Comment question. Who is your favorite Pokemon waifu? And to be as generous as I can with this question, I am talking about which girl you like the most for any reason. She could be the best trainer, the hottest, the most wholesome, any reason at all. My all-time favorite would have to be Tumblerita. Jesus, are you serious? You only just met her a bit ago, and she isn't even an actual official character. Just stick to the official games. And if you think I'm gonna give an answer, you're wrong. All right, so Barry's choice for Clover is Kimmy Kimmy Cake. What? Mine would have to be Lastly. Nope. Can't answer that. What? Why can't I say that as my answer? Because it's my question and that isn't allowed. Fine, I pick mud pants. Fuck off, no Pokemon. Jesus, um, Kixandra? All right, you don't get to answer for Clover. Oh man. Let's move on to the official stuff now. If I had to pick one, I think I'd choose Misty. She's a classic and everyone loves her. You thought on that longer than any of your political decisions, but fucking seriously, Misty? She's basically just vanilla Tumblerita. She is not. She is a different character. Any similarities are coincidence. Right, right. Not to mention Misty is a fucking child. No! No, she's not. She is not a fucking child to me. And pick your fucking girl, would ya? I don't have one. It's utterly ridiculous to have such feelings for a fictional character. Oh, come on, Barry, don't be like that. Just pick one. Like Donnie said, it doesn't necessarily have to be the girl you find most attractive. Which girl has the best character? Jesus, fine. If you guys are going to start pulling teeth to get an answer out of me, I guess, hmm, 
I'm stuck between two. Wow, from none to two, just like that, who are they? Now let me be clear. I don't find these women attractive at all. I just think they are strong of will and strong of character, which is something I respect in a woman. I mean, just look at Michelle. Oh, Michelle is definitely strong, stronger than most women. Yeah, that's why I married her? Why'd you say it like that? Come on, Barry, say your pokey gals. All right, all right, um, it's a coin toss between Cynthia and Nessa. Whoa, whoa, Sheesh, goddamn! Sheesh, Barry. Man's half black and half white, and his waifus are one black, one white. You sure love your cookies and cream and yin and yang and all that jazz, eh, Barry? Just what the hell were those reactions from you two? I didn't expect you to give such legitimate answers. I'm just so happy for you, man. I'm glad you found love. I prefer white Nessa, but still, great choices. Bro, what? Why do you prefer white Nessa? It's not about her skin color. And I told you, it's a coin flip between the two of them. All right. Well, let's decide on just one then, shall we? Does anyone have a coin? I don't keep coins on me. I only have hundreds. Not flexing, it's just the truth. Right. Well, shoot. I know. I'll just simulate a coin. Simulate a coin? Okay. Heads is Cynthia. Tails is Nessa. Flipping. Now. And go. Swoosh. Flip, 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 dink. All right, let's see what it is. It's Tails. I knew it. Barry's favorite girl is the dark one. Okay, that was rigged. No, it wasn't. But that was entirely determined by you. No, it wasn't. It was determined by fate. I was just a conduit. And what do you care? It's an even 50-50. Something had to break your tie. Fine, I don't care. Now, what evil pick do you have, Joey? Evil? How is liking Waltz evil? No! That is just so wrong for many reasons, but I'll say right now, no Pokemon! Fine. Uh, that episode in the first season of the anime where James has those fake no, boobs. No! Fucking stop! Not from the anime either! From the games! Holy shit. Fine. I'm gonna have to go with another sword and shield gym leader, and we're gonna have to say Alistair the ghost type. Oh my fucking god! What? What's wrong with Alistair? Again, many things, but he's a boy. I said a girl, damn it. Fine, fine, I choose Lana from Sun and Moon. I'm gonna cry. Well, how the hell am I gonna pick anyone if you have a problem with everyone I pick? Lana is a sweet girl and a highly competent trainer. What's wrong with that? Because she's a fucking child. Yeah, so? So is Misty. Joey has a point there. That's hypocritical of you, Donnie. How the fuck is that hypocritical? Those two are nothing alike. Misty is a reverse lolly. Sure, the people at Pokemon can say she is only 10 years old, but she doesn't look like it, sound like it, or act like it. Meanwhile, Lana looks like it, acts like it, and sounds like it. I call complete bullshit. That's not true. They are alike. They're both water-type trainers who I want to smell. Oh man, that's weird. We all happen to choose water-type gym leaders. And Donnie, you're trying to cope with your own dark desires by coping and saying shit like that. Fuck you! I don't have dark desires, I have tremendous desires. And I'm not arguing this anymore. Well, all right then, Mr. 45. Everyone leave your pokey waifus in the comment section. And when we finally get around to our first comment-focused video, we'll make sure to include the ones with the most likes. Yeah, anything official Pokemon goes. Anime, games, whatever. What? But you said I couldn't pick from the anime. Yeah, that only applies to you. Oh, come on, man. All right, well, anyway, what, it, uh, what happened while that whole situation was going on? First off, I taught the topper, Don, and our fish, Water Pulse, which is really cool seeing those non-water types learn it, because one is a bird and one gets me wet. God fucking damn it. Amazing, isn't it? How he can be so consistently fucked up in the head but we keep him around anyway. Why is that? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm just a great guy to be around. No, I told you you're mid. What, still? Yes, still. Donnie, you actually share a lot in common with Joey. Ah oh, man, I forgot you were here. I, why do you say that? Because you're both pedophiles. Now let's end this episode because we have an old man dying in the same room as us. Fuck you, Barry. I am fucking not. That's it, you think we're done recording? Wrong. We can wrap up this episode of Clover, but I'm not leaving this place until we make a Pokemon Girls tier list now. I'll show you. I'll show you I'm nothing like Joey. Are you fucking kidding me? This old man has waited far longer than he should have. Surely you're joking. And I have waited far fucking longer than I should have. I deserve this. Bye bye everyone.